Welcome everyone to another alt new build a flower release. This one is called Sweet Violet and it is very sweet. I love the detail in this stamp, that viney look of the flower. And just like with all of the build a flowers, it comes with this pamphlet inside of your stamp set, has different samplings with the ink colors, different ideas that you can do and the stamping guide. It's a very valuable guide to use. Now I was inspired by the sentiments on the stamp set and that's what made me pull these photos. And it comes with the matching die set. Now I've already pre-stamped and die cut in ruby red, soft lilac, lavender fields, deep iris, warm sunshine, and then that little center spot I did it in orange cream. For the leaves, I went with Dusk, Soft Lilac was next, and then the Forest Glades. And then the last one was Sapphire. I'm really inspired by the photos. And then I also wanted to use some of the papers from the new scrapbooking kit. I really love these colors. It went well with the photos and the flowers. And so I want to trim this down into my traveler's notebook. Now, this is another traveler's notebook that I'm using. I have some all new projects in here with the happy planner rings. This one is a pre-made traveler's notebook that I'm going to use for this spread. So I'm just going to trim that down. I want to be sure to get some of the direction. I like the direction in that pattern paper. So I want just enough of that to show underneath my photo. And then I liked the little scrap piece that I had there, the reverse side, I like those little droplets coming down and it works well with this look. Now I want a viney look here on my background. So I'm using this, it's a very old ruler that I have and I'm using one of the Alt New Alcohol markers and I'm creating some little wavy lines here, little viney lines. And you can see here in a minute that I accidentally go into the crease of the album, but later I will fix that. So as I do this, I move things around and then add maybe a few more until I get enough lines that I feel like I can at least see some of them. Some of them will be covered up, so that's why I just want to keep moving the photo and the paper back to see what will be seen. I'm happy with that for now, so I want to add my journaling. I did a little bit of a different look here. I typed it on cardstock and then I added machine stitching underneath for the journaling lines. And it, I like the look that it gives. It makes it crease up and it gives it dimension when I adhere it. Now I'm ready to stamp, free stamp some of these leaves onto my vine. And I'll do the same thing that I did as I created those vines. I'll move the photo back and see what is seen and what is hidden so that I can make sure that I have enough that is seen. I really like the look of these leaves. They almost have a tropical look to them. So they could really be used for a variety of different projects. And I'm gonna use them a good bit on this. This is really, especially this left side. Well, I think the entire, I think both sides end up being pretty full, but this side is definitely going to be the fuller side. This is the main photo. This is a conversation. I think my daughter might've been three and she was negotiating her allowance and maybe how much extra she would need. Anyway, it was just priceless. I have this documented in a 12 by 12, but I'm going back and documenting in the traveler's notebook. I really do love the size of scrapbooking. Now I wanna add my title. So I'm using a variety of different inks. I'm using the Sapphire and then I'm using, I believe it's a darker, the midnight violet color there. I wanted, I wanted to make sure since I was directly stamping that it would show up amongst all of those leaves. And I did have a little bit of issue, you can see down at the bottom, stamping the leaves directly onto my pre-made album because I have something bulky underneath there. But if you wanted to stamp and you needed a little bit better image than what I got, you can slide something underneath there or just 
clip those pages together and stamp onto just that single page. I have also seen and heard people take the pre-made traveler's notebooks apart and do the stamping. Now I'm gonna place these wonderful, gorgeous flowers and leaves. And this is really gonna make this pop. So this is really just the fun part of just placing it and moving things around. And as I do this, I will add, you'll see I'll add another little swirly viney line to kind of fix my little mess up of the line going into the crease of the album. So I'll do that in a little bit. But I'm just going to place, and now that I am committing to where I want things, I'm going to go ahead and adhere them. As I adhere them, especially on the left side, I want to create some dimension. So on some of those flowers, you'll see I will use some foam adhesive. And I really like the foam adhesive on these flowers. The shapes of these flowers are really cool to add the foam because then I could easily like lift it up. Just was a really cool look too. I really liked the look of it. Now I am tucking these, the leaf and the flower underneath the pattern paper. I really still want the direction and the motion of that pattern paper to show. So here you can see I'm gonna foam it here and I just love the look of of how you can get these little flowers to crease up like that. Very, very, just gorgeous flowers. I really want the flowers to really be the star and the leaves of this, besides, besides my daughter and my husband there. But I want to pull in a little bit more of the embellishments from the scrapbooking kit. So I selected that heart, I'm gonna hear that later. And I do like this butterfly here. It kind of ties in the journaling and the photo, and it goes with the flowers so well. And if you saw my other video when the scrapbooking kit was released, these, these stickers are my favorite. I love them. I was able to place this directly over the journaling, so that helps bring attention to the journaling. I just, I think that is perfect how they're see-through, but they have the color. So easy to use. I wanted to add one more and this ended up, I'm glad I fiddled around. I moved it all over the place, but it was perfect here because I needed to bring a little bit more attention to that stamped title. And that will really finish this up. I'm just gonna add that little swirly vine line right there to kind of connect with where it ended in the crease. And then I will add one of the wood buttons from the scrapbooking kit. And you'll see in a little bit, I was debating on whether to put it by the journaling or maybe put one by the journaling and by my photo, but I decided to bring more emphasis again to the photo. And then you can see I added some Nouveau drops as well. And that will finish this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the blog hop and grab this stamp set. I do have affiliate links if you click on any of my links from YouTube or my blog, but I hope that you enjoy and are inspired by Alt News new Build a Flower stamp set. Thank you so much and appreciate you watching.